My name is Charles Mayhew. I'm the SolidWorks Electrical Product Manager for Hawk Ridge Systems. Today we'll be taking a look at passive symbols. Passive symbols are a new feature for 2014. These types of symbols can be used to show information that doesn't necessarily need to be connected to a component, such as these wire bumps, commonly used to display wires hopping over each other that, or wires that cross that do not connect to each other. These are a passive symbol. So let's take a look at what one of these look like. So if we go ahead and open up our symbol here, you'll see that this is basically just a bunch of drawing elements, such as lines, arcs, rectangles, in these two components. So that's the line, we've got an arc there, and then we've got another line there. Now if we take a look at these two golden area, tri uh, triangle, or not triangles, these golden diamonds here. These are actually what we call wipeout areas. These are something new for 2014 also. We'll discuss those in a different YouTube video available later on for you guys. But these wipeout video wipeout sections allow us to designate areas to not display information in. So this would basically wipe out the wire that is shown underneath there along with the connection point. So let's see how we can use one of these. If I close that, as you see in our drawing here, I already have a few of them labeled in here. So let's go ahead and add them down here for this next motor circuit. So we're just go to our regular insert symbols. And then if we go to other symbols, in our wire system is where we're going to find some of these stock ones, which are these bumps. You can also create your own, like I have here in a little bit. So I'm going to grab this bump half scale, and we'll go ahead and use that one. I'm going to go ahead and place this in right where I want it. And I do have my thumbnail checked, so I can just add in as many as I need here. Now, if you do notice that they are coming in as black, but it does clear out the wire that's underneath it and hides it. One tip, if you want to be able to view these in full color and print these in full color, but you want these to actually be your wire type, what I'd actually do is you can take these symbols that we just inserted that have no components to them, and we can go to our drawing tab. We can actually look at the properties of these, and I have conveniently set up some layers to match my wire styles. So in this particular case, it's phase one, so I'll go ahead and change those to match my phase one and therefore my colors now match. So it's a quick and easy way for me to control these and do these multiples at a time. I can insert all my bumps and then come back in, select each one of them and change the phases on them, or not the phases, but change the layer to match the phase so I have all of that. In today's video we covered passive symbols, what they're made of, and inserting to help convey design intent. Thanks for watching.